guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos, and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time when they see our program, for you we bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop all over the world. So for now, let's start with this news. Alright, Gary Neville will be one of the critics of Arsenal and Ateta, one of the football pundits out there. So, Baba Kakoma Sakoli talk about the title race, who thinks they go win now. So, he called the talk say, as things stand like this now, say, if Arsenal keep their players fit, say, they get a very, very strong chance this season, saying they tip Arsenal to actually win the EPL. And what he make Gary Neville call the talk of this one? So, he called the talk say, this man said the way that they lose against Wolves, say that one don't open the eye. Can't let them know say man said the said they get hangover from that treble with them win. Maybe they think when they affect them that they don't really get that ginger. You get so for that reason, in the see uh, Arsenal the frog in them. You know say I be done and talk say as Man City lose against Wolves. So I won't see waiting people like Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, Richard Keys, so many points where they are the waiting them will talk. She, as Man City don't lose now, she will talk say Man City will win the league again. Like I don't really predict how them would think. I'm sorry, I saw it coming. So Gary Neville said, "Come, you know disappoint. Go actually do the same thing. Why I expect? Say because of because because Arsenal draw. They got to say Arsenal if you win the league again. So now Man City can't lose one match for that reason. They can say okay now in the tip uh, Arsenal to win the league. She say the amount soon is still one place. Now when you look at it." They call it Dustin Night because of Man City don't tire from that terrible. Now lie. They actually set up their team to go and win and they lost. It doesn't mean Man City became a bad team overnight. No. The truth is, EPL is very, very hard. Forget most times we'll talk say yes, Arsenal will win this one, and this one shit packer. It is just all on paper. On paper before the match, the tell you about uh, Man City versus Wolves. Who you will talk say will win? Even the bookmakers, how many how many odds do you think they will give Wolves? To defeat Man City. No, I'm like, we'll reach like 9 or 10 because they're no homo. They say they're one day away, we'll reach like 20 something. So at the end of the day, who won? Look at the match against Newcastle, where Man City set up to play for Cup, where Newcastle beat them. They actually put out a very, very strong team, excluding Eli Haaland. Okay, this works, so they're going to put the Eli Haaland and Julian Alvarez and everybody will be somebody. In fact, when you check their bench, the only senior man with that bench can be Jack Grealish. Which way they enter the second half and they could not do anything. In fact, when they equalized one one, everybody thought it is business as usual. Before you know, then Pedro Neto and Chan with Kunha, they say no, today's not that day. And they came out and defeated them. What does that go to tell you? The EPL is a very, very, very strong league. We will say if you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. So what could just watch because right now, you know, say uh, Man City today just one point. Above the likes of Arsenal and Tottenham as possible. So, more just to see how this title race go unfold. Because now, after October 8th, we'll play Man City, we'll go a lengthy holiday. We will come back on other kind 20 something. Then the league will resume again. So, more just see how everything will unfold. Alright, away from that, so Osime don't drop Napoli statement. So, Baba can the talk, he talk plenty, plenty. Now, even Fabrizio Romano. Now I will publish and with me, I can't see her. You get so we'll see my call you talk. So many talk so many things, but me I just summarize her to say um, I will not allow anyone to come between us. That is in with Napoli fans. You get say in love them, say so you don't come Naples, they don't show up support, blah blah blah. Like he said a lot, we know really with the point of the story, the direction of the story with me I they go. And the fact say Osime will no longer be available in the market in January. Because when it looks like maybe this Bruhaha, this Beke waiting for Naples will make the contract. Okay, yeah, yeah, Baba can find a spell with all Osime will say, oh more, I know I'll sign contract. Though he never signed contract extension. They don't give him a two-year extension since last season. We never signed. But from the look of things, I believe saying we mend a relationship, we go post in picture because it was like Forza Napoli. We go post in pictures for Instagram again. So now only Ivan Tony. I go one day for January. We're talking about January. No, no, about summer. Talking about January. So only Ivan Tony. Now go be the reasonable striker. We go there available for January. So and now Arsenal and Chelsea or maybe any outside that can come in to come and fight for him. But I believe say no matter who come. If Aston really see the say they won't buy as it is serious or they can rise, see the common side, Aston will get them because the player has already show a willingness to come and play for Aston. He has already admitted in that diary of a CEO podcast 
We they ask her, we talk say he like us now, like our fans, he like our style of they like everything. And for the fact say the dryer don't be here, two of them are five and six, the dryer they always uh, target Ivan Tony's and my target man launch pass given. You go not have that from Boehm, that one go bust net. So we could have that kind of similar relationship at Arsenal. Maybe who knows? I've been told if it's not bought down with the results, that one go bomb back, get or not have that for Saka. So these are some dynamics that I can see happening. You guess what? We'll just see how everything will go. All right, the mirror also come come and say, and let us know. Say Arsenal, they continue their monitoring of Pedro Neto in a potential January swoop. Now they're gonna give expose, they're gonna cast our mind, go back, say last season, last two seasons, as now we are also interested in signing Pedro Neto. Now the problem we asked that one gets for the Pedro Neto deal now because of say that the fear injury concerns regarding Pedro Neto. This is Pedro Neto, eh? the guy did very, very good. It is faster than Saka when it comes to peace. Watch that Man City match. This guy, first of all, carry folding from your own side, your own uh, half, oh, carry folding, Bera, he beats folding, come carry Nathan Aki, Bera, he beats Nathan Aki, come cut inside, wipe shots, we knock uh, Man City defender, we, we cost the first goal, not the first goal, now own goal for Ruben Diaz. So now Pedro to carry and run. The guy is very, he's just extremely fast. Get for you to beat Foden in a race and beat Nathan Ake, you know the easy. Nathan Ake, you see, Saka got the struggle to beat a one v one. Guess what? Saka is not the fastest. Martinez is even faster than Saka. Just that Saka in decision making process, they high up there. So that's why that's the reason this Pedro to say if this guy don't overcome in injury worries. The same way where Martinelli overcome in your own injury, but people forget that Martinelli once upon a time was injury prone before they come fixing problem. Now I know they really get injury plenty, plenty like that. So more just to watch. Are we going to are we going for Taki for Sakubo or are we going for Pedro Neto? Either of them, I'm okay. I'm not getting any issue. Alright, so the calcio mercato. One come aside and let us know say Arsenal and Juventus they explore the possibility of a swap deal. Now, Juventus they interested in signing Giorgio, the one car. In fact, now Lazio first they interested in signing Giorgio. Giorgio wants to stay here. Now, Juve they propose Giorgio going to that side and Adrian Rabiot coming this way. Say, so, Arsenal like the deal, but more just watch January. More see whether it will materialize. If it don't materialize for January, probably it's going to be something we'll consider by the summer because people like Giorgio. We need to upgrade them, you get. We need to upgrade them, bring in fresh blood. We need to upgrade them. But after that, get the finances because so many of these people just buy them, we collect them so that they will help us achieve the top four. Now we've got in the top four, we are in the Champions League. So now I'm talking about winning things. So most of all these people will help us in the past. We are going to be upgrading them. So when we are upgrading them, now I'm not going to vex. So when they talk, say, why would they change our change that Now so it'll be life is all about continuity. You cannot stay here forever. People like Pat itself, I will not be surprised. If at the end of the season we upgrade them, I will not be surprised. So, but I just keep all those things for my mind. Say all these players, even though they are your favorites, they will not stay here forever. They don't get old. So we need continuity. So, we we'll just watch as things unfold. All right. So Odegaard, they call they ask him about Man City's loss. Yeah, you know, say football London meets Odegaard at the end of that our last match against Bournemouth. Should they call the interview and call they ask us what do you think? About this man, Odegaard said, "Yes, say he, he just the hearer. Say he, ne he never saw it coming, and that goes to show how tough the league is. Anybody can beat anybody now. So they got tough. So, but now them, like what I said, I always tell them, they know they focus on external events. Say must they lose, must they not lose. Then they see them, then they watch them, but the main focus should be on your own performances, on yourself. You get." If Man City lose, you can't go lose. What's what high they gain? So focus on your own. Win your own first, then if they lose, then you get points gained. Don't be saying hey, they lose. You focus on them, they lose. You can't go play up, you go lose. Then that one will come bad. So they'll be focusing on their own game, take it one at a time, just like last season, one game at a time. Then at the end of the day, we'll see where we end. But one thing is is vital, one thing is important. And at the talk, I'm not talking from the beginning of the season, the gap between Man City and the rest of the teams. They don't bridge them. The gap is not as wide as people think. And they tell you, you know that's why. And why? Because of the players who they lose. Because you don't lose those kind of players and get exactly those kind of players back. It's not possible. This, but they get four players now for their team. Maybe say they be average. They never reach their peak. Like they are not in the same caliber, Simba and caliber of the likes of Gundogan, Mares, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne. We they missing. 
even John Stones when they missing. So these are the talking points. That is why I see say Wolves actually uh, found joy play Man City. Imagine the Man City side with your Rodri and the Kevin O'Brien. She Wolves do nothing like that. That's in the realm of speculation. Nobody knows. So we just see how things do on foot. Yeah, I mean, I won't be say make everybody do it. We don't injure fast now. Nah. We just quickly recover. I'm not know what's going on. All right, three years ago, so Sports Bible, we one of our monitoring spirits, come bring out one statement to Mourinho make Mourinho come to say Arsenal will be Arsenal again under Mikel Ateta, and that was when Mourinho was coaching the Tottenham Sport and not Arsenal. So Mourinho come make that statement. Yeah, so what well, it is what it is. I just did very very. I think they're not us for their own home. So I think two zero. I mean two one. Mourinho come make that statement. So you're going to say three years down the line, but that was in 2020. Three years down the line, Arsenal is actually becoming Arsenal again under Atleta because when you check our trajectory from when Wenga come out, Bina Emery come, come out, Atleta come, come from when Atleta come till now, you cannot deny that there has been progress. You cannot deny it. So I keep being proud, saying that there have been progress because when they mention our name now in the scheme of winning something, they don't mention our name for anything again, say top four, anything. Our name is added to favorites to win something anytime it is mentioned. And hundred like give Ateta his flowers. Come on, even if you don't like her for some things when they do, but you have to give him his flowers that he has actually brought us from the slum where we did bring us to the top. Whether they talk about title contenders. We are there, high up with everybody. In fact, our journey so far is better than Manchester United. Manchester United probably they are in phase two because they don't know what they do again. So let's just see how things don't unfold. My biggest prayer for us now, now we win something this season. We're not a cup, but let's just let's just win something and celebrate. That's my biggest prayer. All right, so Steve Nicole, come come and say, I to say, Arsenal actually lack professionalism. See, for the fact that they play Bournemouth, they win 2-0, they now got a penalty, they can't carry the penalty, give Kai Havertz making score. See, that was a very unprofessional conduct. See, why they will give Kai Havertz making score the penalties? See, what if Kai Havertz can't lose the penalty and Bournemouth can't score two these goals? Like, how do, like, when I saw that report, and what is the investment for most time for all these kind of ridiculous takes? Now say you have a co-host who is in the studio with you and when you make such a statement, the person who they push back at you, they ask you for that person. How do you speculate so negatively like this and they let you, they let that take slide? How do you speculate that Kai Havertz will lose the penalty and Bournemouth will score two late goals in a match as now dominating and you don't see that that same situation you are speculating negatively can still be speculated positively? What if uh, the, the miss has scored? What if Aston has scored five more goals? Why you not speculate? Why, why in your head no, you don't speculate to go that angle? Why are you only looking at the negatives? At the end of the day, he scored and we won. So why do you why, what's the point? It's just like they ask at that and say, when she now you tell them, say make play, play, make a can have us go player, say oh Saka for no player. Papa say, who oh, player will be waiting matter? We score, we will not score. We don't score, so let's move on. This same thing don't happen before. We will Saka one play penalty, so they got collector. Player, they say she now you tell them they got collector. Papa, no be who player with the coco. We score, yes. Then let's move on. That's the way all these points. I don't know when it comes to Arsenal, people will read meaning, they see different, different things because how do you speculate this way? In a match that looks like a training session, a match that in the 68 or 70 minutes we are hearing ole, ole, ole everywhere. What does that go to tell you? Arsenal are dominant. Even the Bournemouth coach actually came out and said, as he mentioned Kai Havertz, he mentioned the Clarence, he mentioned Ole guy, that these guys, without the ball, they are hard workers. Like, they make things difficult for his team. And you are sitting there and saying, what if Kai Havertz missed and they scored two? How do they want to score the two late goals? Why did you speculate that way? <laughs> oh, this point is funny. That's the way we invest. All right, so away from that, so Don Hutchinson, got the comment side of the talk, oh, the guy is actually the De Bruyne of Arsenal because this guy is very, very influential. All roads at Arsenal lead to Odegaard. Odegaard then they make things happen for the middle of the pack. When they give, you know when to give Saka pass, you know when to give maybe Jesus, you know when to give Martinez or Trossard or whoever is on the left flank. Like he knows at the right time and he know when to shoot. If we look at that whole ball like this, move and small, pack me. I don't know saying a bomb they come get boom and this guy. I believe he's doing a lot of training in the training session because most of his shots neither keep a point down or maybe he enter. You can't really waste ball like that. That's one thing I notice. You know, they shoot if you don't shot for him. 
You know, she say, oh, my space on the air, go bam bam, and a grand, the last time we go, just enter, everybody go shout go. So the guy, oh, my, don't really, really improve, don't upgrade. And the funny thing we say, but my never did she pick. Ah, you can never drink pick me, oh, my, I just be happy for Asha. Alright, so after that bottom month match, I don't know what I'm not noticing. So Zinchenko also can they console Ms. Metro. Say Alpha now making no vex because Ms. Metro was uh, was sad, even though we win 4 0. Why is he sad? He missed like two chances. One, keep a save, and the other one, he, he remains small. Yeah, so you know they have to say no score because he felt he could have scored. I guess if he didn't score, then those when they push, they make him start, they start, and then the reason it matter because goals is very, very key. Yeah, so I see no score, you know, just they happy. So my dear asked now about no versus they will say we will not drop evening news. I actually went out and I came back very, very late. Yes. And this is our big brother and Jack find out what they do. I know say all of them might go did their own. Who are we one and twenty million? So for that reason, I just my chill Jerry said to do we just continue from here with stuff. Alright guys, so if you don't watch yesterday's show, check the top left corner of your screen. We'll see the thumbnail. Click on so I get all last now updates as they drop all over the world. So such exciting out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Game out and happy new week.